Okay, in this evolution, we're gonna be going over the dual reverse to multiple lines. So we've already completed our five minute checkout of getting familiar with the rig and we're just gonna go straight into our golden circle. Um, the proctor's already given me the order for the evolution. So I'm just gonna start and start the front of the rig, just walking around, um, just making sure that no equipment's loose or missing, um, nothing's hanging off the rig. Look underneath, make sure I don't have anything underneath it, no leaks. Um, walk around the side of the rig, make sure all my doors are shut, my caps are closed, any kind of compartment. Door is closed. Go all the way around the rig. Again, I want to make sure I'm looking underneath the rig, and then I'm going to look on top of the rig. As you come around, I'll check all the doors. I'll pick up my chocks. Sure, I secure my chocks. I'm gonna get in the rig and, and get going. My fireman is already in the back seat. So when I get in, I'm gonna confirm with him that his seatbelt is on. I'm gonna make sure I put my seatbelt on before I start the rig. Seatbelt on. Okay. Said I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. I'm gonna go through my startup procedure. Once again, confirming my maxis are set. Turn my ignition on, both batteries are on. I'm gonna depress, in this rig I have one starter, I'm gonna depress my starter. Immediately make sure I have oil pressure, so my oil pressure is good. Turn on my headlights. And then I'm gonna release my maxis, put my rig in drive, and uh, proceed to my objective. Set my air brakes, let my fireman hop out. So my, my fireman's pulling duels, I'm gonna wait for him uh, to get set and he's gonna give me the uh, visual and verbal uh, signal to lay line. Once he does that, I'm gonna proceed up to my objective of spotting the hydrant. So I've got my signal from the fireman to lay line. I'm going to lay line away slowly to make sure if a coupling catches it doesn't uh, rip, uh, rip out the hose. Okay. Set my air brakes. My rig is in neutral. When you spot the hydrant, what you want to make sure you do is you place your rig at a 45 degree, or you put your tire at a 45 towards the uh, hydrant. Um, in case you come up a little bit short, you can kind of roll forward and it's going to roll in towards the hydrant so you can uh, close the gap a little bit if you come up short on your uh, spot. At this point, I'm going to put my rig in, uh, go, do my cab procedure. So as I said, my parking brake set, my rig is in neutral. I'm going to transfer my power to road, place my Rig back and drive, I'm in 4-4 lockup. Hazards are on, outside speaker's on, my seatbelt's off. I'm gonna confirm, I'm in pump, I'm gonna pop out. I'm gonna step out. Place both my chocks. And then do my, cap, my pump routine. So I'm gonna pull my tank to pump, crack my tank fill, about a finger length. Confirm I have a prime. I'm just gonna pull my primer to make sure. And I'm gonna make sure my pressure governor is on and in the right mode. And I like to throttle up a little bit just to make sure it's building pressure. Once I've done that, we're gonna hook up our front suck. So I'm going to set my coupling down, my hydrant wrench. I'm going to move my cap. I'm going to bleed my hydrant, flush my hydrant.
And then we're gonna hook up our first intake. So I'm opening my hydrant slowly to avoid any kind of water hammer. And then I'm gonna open it up fully. Okay, I have no kinks. I'm gonna place a chafing block. I'm gonna come back. I would close my bleeder and I'm going to open up my line. So my front intake's fully open. I'm looking at my compound gauge. I have a compound of 50. I'm going to mark my compound so I have a good static compound. I look back, my fireman is calling for water, so I'm going to come around and I'm going to. You have to disconnect your line and. So I've made my first connection. I'm gonna acknowledge the call for water to my fireman, let him know water's coming. Come around, I'm on the right rear discharge. Gonna come and pull the right rear gate and I'm also watching my right rear discharge gauge. So I'm gonna open this slowly. making sure to avoid any kind of water hammer. So I'm watching my line as it goes back. Once my pressure equalizes, I can open it up all the way and I'm gonna throttle up to my pressure. So once I've set my initial pressure, my fireman is now calling for water on the second line. So I'm gonna come back Again, I'm disconnecting my line. Once I've made my connection, I'm gonna uh, Confirm water coming with my fireman. Let him know water's coming, I'm gonna come back. So confirm that your left rear discharge, make sure you look at the color. When I come back here, I'm gonna identify my left rear discharge. Once again, I'm gonna slowly open this line, watching my uh, hose fill slowly, making sure I don't uh, water hammer. Okay, so now I have to add, the second line is a high line. So what I have to do is, I'm gonna leave this line fully open, and then as I throttle up to the pressure I want this line to be at, I have to slowly gate this one down so I don't give the guy on the end of this line too much pressure. So I'm gonna slowly throttle up, and as I throttle up, I'm just gonna slowly gate this down. Just try and keep it right about where I have it. I'm watching both gauges. until I get to the pressure I want. So now I have both my gauges. I'm gonna lock this so I know that they're both 
ready to go. And once I've got both my lines flowing, I'm gonna go ahead and make my second intake connection. Once again, I'm gonna have to flush my line. I got clear water. Make my connection. My hose connected. Once again, I'm gonna open it slowly to avoid any kind of water hammer. Quarter turn back, leave the hydrant there. And once again, we're gonna wanna place. I'm gonna shut off my bleeder. I'm gonna open up my intake. You got any kinks? And then I'm gonna wanna recheck my compound gauge. So I'll remark my compound gauge. I have a drop of about 15 pounds. So I'll mark it right there. So I'm going to add another chafing block. So once I've placed my chafing block, I've got two lines coming in, I've got two lines going out. I just want to do a quick walk around, uh, checking for any kinks. So right here I have a kink. So I'll remove my kinks. At that point, as soon as you get all your kinks out, you want to call time, call time with your proctor. As soon as I've called time, I'm going to come back to my pump panel. I'm going to finish marking my gauges. So now I'm going to mark all my discharge gauges. I'm going to mark my oil temp, or oil pressure, water temp, trans oil, and my volts. Once I've made all the uh, marks to my gauges, uh, then we'll go into our shutdown procedures. 